Hi, Joe here from Auto Safety Center. Wanted to take a moment and show you what's in the service bay today. So we had a Buick come in on the tow truck, um, a, a crank no start, basically meaning cranked over really fine, just the engine wouldn't fire, wouldn't start up. Um, this uh, vehicle failed while the customer was driving it um, right uh, as he was entering an intersection. Not a great place to stall out. Um, our ASE Master Certified Technician brought it in, uh, took a look at it, um, right away found this. So this is your ignition coil. Uh, this vehicle has three of them, um, and this one is cracked. Um, so it needs a coil, right? Well, um, we went a little bit deeper than that, and this is where the value of testing comes in. So um, how, if you see this, you say, oh, this coil's bad. You replace it, great. Uh, maybe it works for a um, couple hours, a couple weeks, a few months. Uh, but then it goes bad again. And again, th this would, when it fails, it leaves you stranded. Uh, so then you get another tow in, try to figure out what's going on. So um, we did some further testing on this particular vehicle, and I'll show you what we found. So if you take a look, um, the three coils sit one here, one here, and one here. Um, underneath here is the ignition module, and this ignition module actually failed, causing current to go through these two terminals, which actually kept going through this coil, causing it to overheat, and actually causing it to fail. So not only do we have a coil that's bad, but we also have an ignition module that needs to be replaced. And that is the reason why the coil went bad. So if there was ever an example of why pay for testing, why do we need to do testing when the problem seems so obvious, that's why. Because we want to get to the bottom of the root cause of why this, this component failed. Um, so that's just an example of what we have in the service bay today. Thanks for watching.